Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we're going to go through the story mode a little bit and just show you guys some of the tactics that I'm using to get through this thing. So the first thing that's going to pop up is this right here that's going to show you wherever you're at, whatever story mode you're facing. Uh, who, what characters you're going to need that's going to get these extra buffs, you know. If you don't use certain characters, gonna, they're going to increase damage received by 25%. And then you get a buff of increased attack by 50%, decreased damage received by 50% when using characters from 97 year. Which is pretty cool because for this specific one, you have Orochi here. You have Orochi Yori, Orochi Leona, Orochi Chris, Orochi Yashiro. That's pretty damn cool that there's five best characters in this which really makes things easy as far as using a good powerful character i'm gonna go ahead and click the do not show me page again here and you know i've already done all these other ones you can see i haven't collected my crystals yet get off of this crap you can see i haven't collected my crystal let's go ahead and collect this and this is pretty cool they're giving some gold hammers of course you're getting the tickets the capsules really nice i've also been getting some memories only for gold mem only gold memory so far, but still, uh, any memory is a good memory, I always say. So let's jump in here. So there's a couple different ways you can go about doing this. You know, the requirements for this specific stage is clear with all fighters alive, defeat the boss with a purple element, and max combo 30 or more. But for these combos, I usually use Guinness like crazy. It doesn't matter if he has a disadvantage or he doesn't. His combos are so easy and same with Nameless. These two characters, and there's other characters as well, but I choose to use these two because they just combo so easily. Uh, just, just ridiculous, you know, it's no problem. If you have three or four characters out there and you hit Nameless's second skill or you hit Guinness's first skill or second skill, it's just insane the amount of hits that you're going to do and your combos are just going to go through the freaking roof. I got Iori in here because... He's going to be the character that we're going to need for the next stage for the requirements for the stage. I've already got card sets on him. It really doesn't matter, but I got a Tekken set on this guy. I got the Yantama set on this guy, and I got the Chaos set on this guy. So since we need to clear this with a purple character, we're just going to use Nameless for the entire run. And I've noticed so far in the story mode, uh, the new story mode lunatic anyways, that we haven't had to use like, you know, bring a striker in or bring a supporter in. So far, I haven't had to do that even once. So we're just going to switch to Nameless. Here we go. And, and look at that. 46. Already 46 hits. Our combo's already done. And that's how easy it is with Nameless. All right, let's do it. Come on. And with the Waken skills, I mean, if you're just using, you know, one-star Waken characters, that would be more than enough to do this Lunatic, honestly. Boom. I mean, piece of cake. Now, I realize, you know, this he's all jacked up, four stars, but believe me, one star, easily. In fact, you know, I don't even think you need characters to be Awakened to do this. Not at all. I think if you're just using fest units, you'll be good to go. Now, a smart person, they're just going to use the characters with the type advantage or the characters that are going to have the buff. Now, here, we have to defeat the boss of the KOF 97, which Iori is, and we need to clear with 20 hits or less. Now, when you're using this, you know, this is a blue fighter, so the purple fighters are actually going to have the advantage Iori's not going to have an advantage or disadvantage because he's a yellow fighter. So what I like to do is, say for example in this specific situation, my purple character here has got the advantage. And we want to clear with 20 hits, 20 or less hits. So I'm going to use Nameless for the most part throughout the fight. And then I'm going to switch to Iori at the end and just take out the final boss. Let's go. Burn, baby, burn. 
Okay. Now you gotta be real careful. You don't want to take down the boss too fast. So we're just gonna hit the second skill. We'll see how much damage we do. We'll do the third skill. Okay, now we don't want to use our... Here we go. We're gonna do that again. Okay. All right, we're gonna use a third skill. There we go. Now we're gonna switch to Yori. And boom. Now Yori could have done it a long time ago, but I'm giving you the idea. A lot of times what I like to use, like Yori, he's pretty strong. He's an awakened character. He's got the Tekken set on him. But I've been using like level 60 bronze characters and things like that on the other stages. And I would just do this method where I would use a powerful character Take the boss down to where they're, you know, down to their last leg, if you will, to where they're almost just have a little bit of HP left. And then go ahead and switch to the character that I need for the clear to go ahead and get those last couple hits and get that requirement. And it worked like a champ. You could also do the same thing by using your strikers, but that's a little bit more RNG based. So I kind of like doing it this way. I prefer to do it this way. So here... We got clear all fighters alive and we need to feed a boss with a balanced type. So you use a, you know, since he's a blue, you could use a purple. So in this case, that would be Kula for me, you know, or you could just use uh, Orochi. Really doesn't matter. I'm going to put Kula in there because she's three stars. She's all jacked up. Here we go. I'm going to slap a card set on her. Now you got to make sure you don't dodge any more than three times. And this is what I've been doing throughout the entire story mode. It hasn't been bad at all, actually. Okay. Later, boys. Later, boys. Okay, and it's really hard sometimes because you want to hit that dodge. <laughs> you know, you want to... I mean, I know I'm like, you know, it's just like a force of habit. Whenever someone's trying to attack you, you just want to hit that damn dodge. Hi, right, Yamazaki. And booyah! Not much old boy's gonna do. Now you could put better leaderships. Like, I'm not getting a leadership at all, but because she's three star, I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest. See you later, punk. I mean, you could definitely play this to where, like I said, you're using leaderships that are actually going to buff the characters that you're using. If your characters are too weak, then that's definitely what you should be doing. These characters are far from that. I mean, they're really strong, so it's not a big deal. Okay. And I'm actually saving these rubies. I think it's better, better if they're not up here. I don't use them. We'll see how that goes in the future, but I'm going to jump in here. Okay. I just click on whatever striker. But, you know, another little tidbit, if you don't, like, say your character just isn't strong enough, put a striker that will be. You know, for example, like right here it says, defeat a boss with a red element. You could go ahead and click on here, click on a character that's a red element. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Click on a character that's a red element. Take the boss down to whatever, say you're not using any reds, and then use your striker to do the final blow to the, the boss. And you'll be good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch Kula. Because I do have a red element. And I'm going to use him. And matter of fact. We're just going to use my boy Geese. Could use the rock too I guess. But. Alright. Uh, let's slap uh, the mad tea party. Said an old boy. 
There we go. Now we need to do max uh, combo 30 or more. Geese can do some good combos, but I'm going to actually just use Guinness because it's just so easy to do those combos with. I mean, seriously, he's just, he's just ridiculous. Ready, go. Okay. Look at that, 37 hits already. I mean, it doesn't take long, man. He gets those combos so easy. All right, let's do it. Oh, 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 yeah. Raging Storm. Man, I love that skill. And booyah. It's really not that bad. I mean, I imagine I'm probably saying that because I have really strong characters. Sorry about that. The game crashed. But those were some tips uh, and tricks that you can use to take down story mode. I really don't think it's that difficult. But again, if any of you are having problems or, ha or having a problem with a specific uh, stage, let me know in the comments. Um, so to be transparent, as always, guys, I did go ahead and buy lady maxima i think she's a pretty cool character and i just i wanted to support the game i'm really happy with it and i especially since i was already at the pity and i already got flameless and his card i was like screw it i'm gonna go ahead and get her because i really didn't want to spend a bunch of rubies in the summons for the fighters for cards i don't mind but for the fighter i really didn't want to do it i'm actually thinking about spending another twenty dollars uh because i could go ahead and get 400 more souls for her which would really help level her up. I could take her up to level 90 immediately if I had that. I don't think I'm going to go any further than that. Really don't want to, I mean, that's already going to be $100 in total. I really don't want to spend another $40 or any more money, even though I do think these packs are actually fairly decent. I don't think they're like ripoffs by any means, especially if you love Lady Maxima and you're going to get all these other uh, prizes. So, yeah. So let's jump into the O Summons. Now let's see here. Flameless, I want to keep in there because I want memories for this guy. Iori, I want memories for him as well. I still want some more memories for him. Uh, Geese, I definitely need more memory for him. Let me look at something here. So as far as Muka, yeah, I need another memory for him for sure. Okay. Geese. Oh, really, Geese, I don't need a memory for him. Hmm. So let me go ahead and get take out Geese. And let's put in Rugal. I don't need a memory for him. Hmm. Let's slap in pretty big. There we go. I think we're good to go now. Nameless, how many memories I have for him? I have two more, so I really don't need any more memories for him either. Okay. He's already at four star. Okay, let me see here. Uh, we'll put Kula in there. There we go. We need another memory for her. The hell? Come back over here. All right. So we're good to go. And we do have some free summon tickets because I did buy that pack. Well, they're not free necessarily. Come on. Now, give me that damn card. Wait a minute. We need to take that out. Put that one in. There we go. Give me that card. That'd be freaking dope. That would be freaking dope. Give me that card. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hook it up, please. It'd be so awesome. It'd be so awesome. Okay, skip that. Not a bummer. And I'll probably end up doing a card summon video, I imagine. Yeah, I went ahead and skipped it. Oh, oh, I saw that. Okay. Ah, that's cool. 
Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Woo! Yes! Thank you, God! Thank you, God! Oh my God! Oh yeah! And oh, look at that, man! That's freaking cool, man! You got Cosmic's three PG card. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah! I'll take that. That's awesome that I got Maximus card. Wow! 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 wow, wow. Now give me a memory for old girl. Just one memory, that's all I ask. Well, really, as many as you want to give me. Because I'm already hearing about how strong she is. Her damage is freaking insane. She's going to prove to be very useful in the future dungeons, I do believe. We'll see. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Okay, not a bummer. Man, give, give me a Festo, please. No, I know I'm asking for a lot. I already got the card. I already got a card, but come on, come on. Just just, just, this one. Show me, show me some red. No, I, I don't want to see yellow. I don't want to see yellow. I don't want to see freaking yellow. Ah, bummer. Bummer. Well, I think I'm going to stop at that. I really don't want to spend any more rubies in here because I'm really kind of wanting to go for some more cards, but we'll see. So hopefully those little tips and tricks and story mode helped any of you out. Again, if you have any problems with it, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you have a specific stage you're having problems with, let me know. And I will make a video regarding it if you need the help. So let me know how y'all doing in the game. Let me know what characters you've gotten, what cards you've gotten. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.